giant controversy is that Nancy Pelosi went on the James Corden Wait Wait show and she showed off her kitchen, which had two very expensive refrigerators. This is, this is something. You filled with very, very expensive ice cream. This is the episode of Cribs I never knew I needed. Oh my God. Wow. And my Republican friends are going crazy. They're like, eh, why hasn't Saturday Night Live made a sketch about this? Because it aired on Thursday, you idiot, and it's a pandemic. But to the credit of my Fox News loving friends, they're right. Nancy Pelosi, ice cream freezer, total faux pas. It was an attempt to look like a normal human being gone horribly wrong. People aren't able to pay their bills right now, and she's showing off the fact that she likes ice cream that's worth more than I make a week. The first rule of television, especially during hard times, is you don't show off your fancy things. Every major news anchor right now is not showing off their fancy houses. Uh, they're doing the newscasts in front of simple Pottery Barn bookcases. They're approachable. They're like you and me. Nobody needs to know that they got three Porsches parked outside in a driveway. Like an easy one. Chris Cuomo. I love him. Chris Cuomo is broadcasting from a house in the Hamptons, but you don't see that. All you see is him in the basement in front of a staircase. Chris Cuomo has it right. Even poor people can afford stairs. Nancy Pelosi, you make $223,000 a year. And after last night, it looks like you spend all your money on ice cream and freezers. Yeah, ice cream and freezers. That's what bankrupted 50 Cent. You can't show your nice things to common people. Like, look at me. I drive a fancy car, but whenever I show it on this webcast, I always make sure to take off one hubcap so I look more approachable. This was a little bit tone deaf. I, I enjoy you, I, I support you, but this was tone deaf. Uh, three weeks ago, I was out at the grocery store desperate to get a roll of toilet paper, and you are on TV showing off that you got $5 billion worth of ice cream in your mansion. It just doesn't convey what I think you're trying to convey. So here are a few tips on what we in the media call optics. And if there's one thing I'm good at is being the common man. I mean, look at me. I, I, I used to look like the guy from Blue's Clues, and now I look like the doc from Back to the Future. Uh, my advice for you is if you want to look common by eating ice cream, you don't go for the expensive stuff. You go Briars. Vanilla, you feeling fancy in my house? Neapolitan, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry. That's as far as you go. And for the background in your house, you deserve a nice house, but I don't wanna see it. So just show off a bookshelf. And that's your takeaway for all the politicians and celebrities who are gonna be on TV during all this, bookshelves and briars.